Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Galila, and this week we are going to talk about traveling with curly hair and more importantly, how to pack for it. Whether it's domestic or international, I'm gonna cover both of those topics. And a lot of the time when we have curly hair, like people will do a natural style, like braids, twists, blase blase, or straighten their hair if they're going somewhere where it's like not the beach because obviously why would you do that? Um, but yeah, instead of dealing with their curly hair. So I just wanted to go through with y'all like my packing process um, and do it with how I would pack for domestic versus international. And uh, yeah, give you guys a little insight on me and my curly travels. I won't be doing a curly hair routine or product review with y'all. This is actually day four or five hair so my curls are doing pretty well i must say and i'm still using just lust like this is just the lust one product in my curls so if you haven't tried it yet you're missing out anyway stay tuned if you guys want to find out more welcome back thanks for staying <laughs> anyway so um like i said i'm gonna go through domestic and international so i'm gonna Kind of just show you guys uh, what I do with my shampoo, conditioners, gels, um, leave-in conditioners, bobby pins, hair ties, clips, shower caps, you, just like everything that you need when you are traveling somewhere with curly hair. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. So obviously with domestic, it can get a little trickier when you are uh, traveling with your hair products. Usually with domestics, wow, usually with domestic travel, I don't take shampoo or conditioner because I'm not gone for too long. So um, I usually just like wash my hair right before my travel. So I usually just focus on packing my leave-in, my gel, uh, my brushes, hair ties, and um, bonnet. <laughs> slash my oh my gosh silk wrap okay i literally like don't know where it's today but yeah those are the things that i focus on so i'll show you how i change the containers uh in order to fit federal regulation right now i'm in the middle of using the lust shampoo and the diva curl low poo shampoo and instead of taking the full size bottle i'm going to just use a travel size container that i got from target and it's a really easy to use container. Um, it's This one is really squishy, so I like that too. But you just open it up and there's an opening for you to put the product in. And then it's just a really easy squeeze out when you're ready to use it. So I'll just show you a little demo of what I usually do with my products when I'm putting it into my travel size container. And that's it, simple as that. You're ready to go. So for conditioners, I would do the same thing. Right now I'm using the Lust conditioner and I would simply just use a similar travel size bottle, probably also from Target, and just put the uh, product within that travel size bottle too. So for leave-in conditioners, there are two different kinds. There's the pump out kind or squeeze kind, and then there's also the spray bottle kind. So we'll start off with the pump out kind. So this one is from Lus. Um, it's their all-in-one. It's not just a leave-in conditioner, it's just a styler in general. Um, so this one, you can use the similar kind of container that I use for the shampoo and conditioner. Uh, this one is also from Target, as you can see, a perfect carry-on bag kind for carry-on bags and it has a squeeze out effect too. So you just open this one up. I already have some of the product in there as you can see. And it's just a simple pump of the full size bottle. And as you see, I literally missed the whole container, focusing on making sure it was in the camera. But this one is just as simple as easy as the rest. And that's all you gotta do. So 
so when it comes to the spray kind of leave-in uh, right now I am using the Shea Moisture Hydrate and Repair leave-in um, it's the same kind of tactic but you can't use the same type of containers and Target got us on that too they have the mini travel size spray bottle that gives you the same effect that you would use with uh, your original uh, product container so all you have to do is just open up that mini uh, travel size spray bottle open up your products bottle and literally just pour in that product and that is it now you can spray anywhere you go and you don't have to switch out and use another leave-in so when it comes to gel right now i'm using the design essentials coconut line gel and it's in a jar as you can see so it's not going to be the exact same um, method to putting in the container and it's also almost done i love this gel so if you haven't tried it definitely pick it up so i'm using a blue container for this one it's also helpful to have different colored containers for your different products so you don't get them mixed up um so I'm just going to use my finger and I'll just scoop out the gel and put it in the container. I've also used spoons in the past. I know it might be a little ratchet. I just wash it really well, but on your finger it gets messy. So the leftover gel, I just put it on my hair. And that's it. Just cover it back up and you're all ready to go. So of course we need our bobby pins and our mini hair ties our actual hair ties are a must on vacation and maybe your favorite clips too so we have to place all of these in our bag but we want to keep it organized so i usually just use a ziploc bag to place all of these little accessories in And that's it. I'll just zip it up and fold it up and let out all the extra air. And it's small and simple and can fit into your suitcase without taking up any extra space and still be organized. We obviously need our silk wraps as well to sleep in. Maybe a shower cap. When you take a shower, if you don't want your hair to get wet, I sometimes use them, sometimes not. And then of course, a bonnet. I sleep with a bonnet and my silk wrap. What I like to do is put all of these together inside of my bonnet. I'll put my shower cap in there after I wrap it with itself. And then my silk wrap as well. And then I just fold up the bonnet and it's just a small little holder for all of your shower slash nighttime needs. And I usually just throw it in my book bag. And of course, we can't forget about our brushes. Um, there's nothing that you would change about the brushes other than not forgetting to bring them on your trip. And of course, you can't forget about your handy dandy spray bottle, which I just throw in my book bag. So you have all of these items and it would be better if they were all in one place. So usually you can put it in a Ziploc bag or inside of the plastic uh, part of your suitcase, but Target does offer this Ziploc bag that comes with the little travel kits, travel size kits if you buy one. Um, and you can just place everything in there, your brush, all of your hair accessories, and all of your products. And I like to do this because if something spills, it stays in that bag, not on your clothes. Um, and it's just way more organized. And once it's all in that bag, it's just a little baggie that can fit in anywhere in your suitcase and won't take up that much space at all. So when it comes to international trips, it's a little bit different and depending on the situation. So when I'm traveling with Menon or another curly friend, it's like a free pass because 
you don't have to bring all the products by yourself. So usually with Meton, like we use similar products sometimes. So it's easy for us to split up like, okay, you bring the shampoo and conditioner, I'll bring the gel and the leave-in conditioner or whatever the case is. That way, you know, our suitcases are not filled up with all of our curly products and, you know, take away space from clothes and shoes and jackets and purses and whatever else you need for these trips. Um, but it does suck when you're traveling with like a boyfriend or a friend that doesn't really um, have curly hair or if that friend is traveling with like a natural hairstyle, obviously she's not gonna use her curly products for that trip. So then you kind of have to fend for yourself. And for that, um, even if the trip is like two weeks or more, I usually just try to still use like that small um, 3.5 like ounce bottle that I would use for domestic and just put my shampoos and conditioners in here because well, separate ones obviously, but because like, I'm not gonna wash my hair that often in a trip. Like, I want to, like I'll wash my hair like one time, but definitely not more than that. So I don't think I need to bring the full size bottles for that. And usually when I'm planning my trips, like if we do a beach or whatever, like it'll be more towards the end of the trip so that I definitely am only like gonna wash my hair once. Um, and then I do bring the full uh, like size bottles of my leave-in and my gels because I'm definitely gonna be using that to refresh my hair like all the time. And then of course I'll still bring my water bottle because you know, you gotta spritz them curls to refresh them, so yeah. But uh, those are like the major differences between domestic and international for me. So I help, wow. I cannot talk today. So I hope that this video was like really beneficial for y'all. Um, we get asked like all these random questions about our hair. So I thought that this would be something that y'all could use um, in your future travels. So thanks for watching. Uh, please let me know if you guys like this video, like, subscribe, share it, comment down below what other things that you guys want to see. Um, I'm also getting my hair re-highlighted next weekend. I'm so excited. And I know you guys are like, why? Like your hair is full of highlights. Like you don't need it, but wait, look at that. Look at that guys. There's just too much black now, you know? So it's about that time. And if y'all wanna see uh, like that highlighting process and maybe a video afterward, kind of like how I keep my curls going even after all that bleach, <laughs> let me know. And I'll film the process and upload that video and then maybe even do a video on the treatments that I make for my hair. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, much love as always. See you guys next time.